Morning sprayers, this is Martin of Sprayman UK, just in the dining room, project dining room, been spraying with the CSK240, uh, the Ultra Quiet Gentling, and the Iwata AZ3HTE, High Transfer Efficiency Spray Gun. So, it's a quick setup video, and it's also what sort of results can you expect spraying with the HTE. So, Joseph passes me the camera, and We'll turn the unit round to show. Plug it in, it's charged up. So put it onto auto, and away it goes. So we are filling the 24 litre tank, and when it gets up to full pressure, there we go, that switched off. So what we're now displaying with two gauges, the larger gauge is reading the pressure in the tank. Similar on the C330, but you're reading the pressure in the three liter chunky bar that goes around, which is also actually an air receiver. Next to that, we have the regulator. Up to adjust, once you've got it, press it down. And this has got a pressure there that she's then reading the outgoing pressure to feed the spray gun. So when you get the kit from us, you have the gun, which is screwed directly onto the end of the one end of the hose. Um, people are asking about quick releases. Don't personally like them. It adds extra distance and, and it's a bit more rigid at the wrist. The other end is the male stem of the quick release, which you just drop onto there. There we go, we're ready to go. So, when you're spraying and not pulling the trigger, what you're actually reading there, coming around the right way up, is you're reading the static pressure. It's sat there doing nothing, static. So you pull the trigger, and if you depress, just so that you're getting the air without the pain, you'll see it drop. So that's your actual dynamic or your spraying pressure. Now, in this project, I was doing all the trim and the window sills and gave it a couple of coats of Zinsabine, which I was playing around with. You can see my marker pen just popping through that thin coat. So I sprayed at 21 degrees, checked it at 60 seconds. That's straight from the can. And I was spraying this about six, seven inch, six probably more likely. And I set it up at 20 PSI and put a tape on that. That was a five inch fan pattern. Don't really want it much bigger than that spraying internal. And on top of that, we then put the Benjamin Moore PM1 Ultra White, really nice satin top coat. So for that, I warmed the paint up to get it up over 20 and thinned it by 5% and sprayed it neat. That dropped my fan pattern down to about four inch, which again, for what I'm doing in here is more than enough. So the gun itself, quickly, when connected up, we've got two dials. The bottom one is, that's basically pulling the needle back and adjusting the amount of paint that can come out. And again, if that's wound in, that can be such a light mist or you're full open, you'll get the full flow. I was actually using the 1.8. The top button, as with any spray gun, is the fan air. If fully closed, then screwed in, you're gonna get a round spray. Uh, fully out, you've got the fan. So, what sort of performance can I get? Pretty good, I'll show you. So, all the skirting. Looking good, nice and flat door trim looking good Joseph gets out a shuttle be even better and then look at that really nice and flat so finish was excellent and uh, more than happy with the results so I don't think this camera is really gonna get just how flat that is so the finish you can expect is of the highest standard and uh, a nice quiet setup. So hopefully that's been interesting. 
If there's anything else we can help you with, just give us a bell. Martin at Sprayman. Cheers, bye.